people go get get your name tattooed on. So 40, 10, 15, 20, 30 years of banging. That's your uh legacy. That's that show, that show, that's just what they do for you. Show me time right there, my nigga. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That show, uh, no, nah, no, nah, you know what we're gonna call it? That show Severance Package, my nigga. Damn. So, you got WAP 100 speaking on PNB Rock situation and the killers. He speaks on the murder suspects, Freddie Lee, the 17 year old, and Chantel Trone. He goes in and send a warning to all gang bangers. Salute to my broski, chick, smooth. Um, it's a lot going on right now, but I need y'all to smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Rock out with the Osmo Hip Hop Live platform. Um, we're not going to do much commentary to this, except in the comment sections. Share this video and make sure you comment. Hit the notification bell as well. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And get back to me in that comment section so I can know what's really good. Those that need to be out the way need to get out the way and let the law do their job, man. The streets need to be exterminated. They killing women. You, they robbing ladies. They breaking in everybody's house. You robbing for the jury. Then you tell them that you say did some gangster shit. That's ground. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is going? <laughs> like, yo, it's a shit yo, show, Wack. Yeah, like what? Like where is the? Whatever it's supposed to be, like where is it? Like, Ain't no whatever it's supposed for a to be. Real gangster, I tell you that. Like what? When it was gangster shit going on, it was gangster shit going on, and then you know sometimes unnecessary casualties popped up. Shit happened, right? Uh, you know, but it's it's no to all the gangsters, thugs. There is no security or safe haven for you in these streets and that's a you'd fact. be better off you'd be better off trying to do it the right way I totally agree and PNB Rock can still be here to be a father his child his 30 year old mother who had three kids she still be here your dumb ass will still be here and not running around from the law obviously if you robbed a motherfucker you ain't got the means to even get away you'll still be here to help your family right it's just if you look at it the world would be a better place is swallow their pride and just try to figure it out and that's some real shit a nigga rather do a whole hate crime to get on this hustle nigga and I don't I'm just keeping it real like nigga I don't respect that shit I'm gonna keep it real with you. no the fact that it been two weeks I just want to say WAC 100 is speaking gold right now. A lot of y'all don't like him, but WAC 100 is speaking facts. Pay attention to the jewels and gems he's giving game right now, y'all. Listen, this ain't some shit that happened in Beverly Hills. <clears throat> this ain't some shit that happened over here. In... This happened in a motherfucking hood. In the heart no better of, than be the worst over of the worst in the ghetto. If it ain't no silence there with this kind of shit, my nigga. That's why when a nigga tell me, nigga, I'm for whoop, man, I don't give a fuck. I tell him, man, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Boy, all your dumb ass just did. You from where? Okay, this is how this works. Wherever you from, there's a small percent of people that like you a larger percent of the people that don't like you within those people are the haters the people that scatter you or whatever it may be so now you just told them where you from you told the street nigga with a whole lot of money where you from let me tell you what you just did bozo so now all i gotta do is reach over there and get in contact with the people that don't like you that do the shit and be rocks do and be like hey i don't even want you to go to do that come on over here man get this early christmas present Dummy. real shit though y'all holler y'all so quick oh for whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. oh okay you just let me know what what chunk would it go into to find out the motherfuckers that don't like you bozo fuck them niggas that's crazy but two weeks hey, later you know how OG niggas look hey, OG think two niggas weeks look later niggas like we want to kill them niggas anyway two <laughs> weeks later <laughs> two weeks later 
this man's picture is plastered up everywhere. Man, y'all better stop lying to y'all self talking about what this shit is. Oh, this shit it's real, real man. man. I know when I went to LA, nigga, I thought LA, nigga, when I first got introduced to LA Wack, nigga took me to the Dickerson Gardens, nigga. Uh, it was a nigga in there, boy. One nigga had AIDS, he was firing off, nigga. It was niggas. My other partner got smoked, nigga, as soon as I got there, nigga, some crazy shit. I'm like, nigga, you got to learn where you at. You know it's exactly what 16 I, days. Well, that's a PNB. Learn where you at. That ain't what we talking about. We talking about all you niggas was claiming. Oh, we outside, all oh, the neighborhood, oh, and then when you get killed, right? This is what happened. You get four or five days of IG posts and videos. When you go on the ground, they gonna eat your mama food up with a repass at. <laughs> Hit that like button and subscribe. Don't talk about you for two, three more days. Then it's over with. Oh, you get some sweatshirts, you get your face on a hoodie or a t-shirt. And then you might get your name hit up on the wall. Then it's over with until your birthday or the day you got killed roll around and those that may be closer to you remember you. And then you might get about five, ten people go get, get your name tattooed on so 20, 10, 15, 20, 30 years of banging, that's your uh, legacy. That's your, that's your, that's your, that's just what they do for you. Show me time is playing right there, my nigga. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's your, uh, no, nah, no, nah, you know what we're going to call it? That's your severance package, my nigga. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that's, cold. that's what it is. That's really what it is, too, dog. The four hundred one k. In the meantime, <clears throat> because you position yourself for this to happen to you, your son is eight and nine. Now he's subject to the hood and the park, so he hear all this shit, all this shit. I mean, he developed a hatred for whoever's supposed to kill you. So now, if, if you big buttons, now he love buttons, tiny buttons, baby buttons, right? Son, and you know, he on re, a revenge tip for his daddy who really didn't know. And he ain't realize the niggas that killed him. They really kill him over the color, but he might have been fucking a niggas bitch over there. And just he just so happened to be a different color bandana. So now his son that went out on a mission, he didn't work. Either he get killed or he kill himself off, catch a murder beat, and he in and out of jail, right? And the homies is egging this shit on. Then your daughter, who's 10, she's 16 now. So the nigga that just got out, say, damn, she got ass. That's who? Oh, so now she ain't got a father figure. So she in the pastor seat of this nigga because he didn't took her to the motherfucking swap meet, bought a couple pair of shoes and took her to the hotel that night. So your homies flipping your daughter, not being an uncle or father figure. Man, niggas better wake up, man. Oh, they better wake up, nigga, because this shit ain't a game. Really These are all facts. Right. It's how this go. Man. Then, then, uh, let's rewind. About three days after we were still in the morgue, a nigga that went over there and told your baby mama, you know that nigga was fucking Cheryl over there on the east side. Yeah, you ain't heard from me, but, uh, you know, she here go the address. You know what I'm saying? You'll find this car, the other car. It's over there parked in the driveway right now. Well, what's up with you, baby? Like, what's, you straight? You need something? This is what the homie's doing. Guaranteed fact. Guaranteed fact, nigga. That's a fact. I mean, nigga, you can't explain that no better than that. I was gang banging last night. I was banging so hard last night up in this conference room. Nigga, I was gang banging. Nigga, I told him, listen, the motherfucker owner of the AFL, he gave me the big homie treat. And he walked up. He said, how you doing, Mr. Jones? Looking to meet you. We appreciate you um, giving us the deal you gave us with the Brave Energy drink um, and the exclusive rights to it for the AFL. You know what I'm saying? We got this going on, this going on. Matter of fact, we going to leave the garage and go to the park on the roof after this event. And, uh, you know, the VP and everybody else is going to be there. Mr. Jones, they want to meet you. I told him Brave Energy drink game. Yeah. 
I'm gang banging like a motherfucker. That's the real banger. Oh, they got <laughs> going on. Cow, nigga. You know what I'm <laughs> they Dang said, yo, <laughs> they said, yo, Mr. Jones, can we flick it up? Me and the president, the CEO of the president, and your CEO, and you as the president. I said, no problem. You want to get in front of the wall? They got all the graffiti on the wall. You look at that last post and you blow it up. You'll see AFL. You'll see Brave Energy Drink. All our sets is on the wall behind us. All our sets, my nigga. She homies right there. Yeah, that look like a real function. And go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nigga, that's the owner of the American Football League. This is shit. Nigga, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just struck a deal. But the energy drink we launched it is the is the face of the American Football League. The only energy won't be no Red Bull in the motherfucker in the whole arena. You want energy drink? That's Here dope. You, go. you want a bottle of water? It's brave alkaline water. There you go. You know what I'm so, you know what I mean? so uh, arena. Yeah, I'm about it. Yeah, I'm banged out right now. You know what I'm saying? You had my that shit on out. too. You, huh? Oh, you a bad motherfucker, boy, when hey. you talking like that, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm just saying though, like you are on some real yeah, shit. Like this, what this what my my mentor was at, like because it's like, my nigga. Now watch this. Everybody in that room I met. I go talk, talking to this dude. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He said, hey, man, I got a uh, deuce. I got a sports agency. We financed by uh, Morgan Stanley. I said, like Chase and all that. He like, yeah, I have a sports agency. I'm out of bucket. Oh, you out of bucket. Is that right? You know QC, quality control? He like, yeah. I said, you ever met? What? He was like, oh, Mr. Jones. I said, well, listen, man, you got a direct number? Give me your number. Do, 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 do. Put it on there. I said, my boy P, QC, they have their own sports agent that they kicking off and you already do it and you with Morgan Stanley yeah I said well look maybe you can mentor him or maybe y'all can tap in said you know what Mr. Jones his name has come across our board that's a personal friend of yours definitely he said okay put us on the direct here was my direct number woo woo I look put him on there introduction <clears throat> he said I'm flying back tomorrow P let's sit down make arrangements this week to meet boom 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 see now I'm looking out for my own boy we banking now Cause I know what my homie doing. You, I just met you because you saying you here representing this, and he's getting that started. You look like me, and we all look like each other. Boom. Let's plug that. Networking. Yeah. Networking is currency. This how it right. So, like, like my nigga, like, like when I tell people, like, hey man, 